Last week on Coast Life, uh, I lost my keys in the ocean, we got trapped in the fog, ran out of gas, and we sailed on over to Wreck Cove to hang out with some friends and have a barbecue. Okay, so the ongoing saga continues. Um, yeah, I'm taking up the dash piece because uh, we've got a new dash, a new computer for the car, and a new key that all match. They're actually used from a different car, but um, hopefully that works. We have a car again. That only took a week. Alright, so today we're uh, putting a new anchor in, which is kind of exciting. The old anchor is a 10 kilogram Bruce, and uh, just not totally, totally sold on the Bruce anchoring system after watching some sailing pan uh, reviews. Well, there was a few comments on the uh, undersized nature of our anchor road, which I agree with, but I'll show you what I got. This, <laughs> this should suffice. Uh, it's bigger than I needed. I wanted 5 8 This is like 3 quarter. <gasps> if you look online, you'll do enough research, you find out that nylon rope is stretchy. And it actually reduces strength significantly when wet. Um, poly rope doesn't stretch that much. Uh, you might argue that's bad, but chain doesn't stretch at all. And um, it doesn't lose any of its strength when wet. And it's very hard to chafe through. So, I'm pretty, feeling pretty good about this three-quarter polyester. Yeah, about 100 feet of this will stretch a bit compared to chain. I mean, a lot. So, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, 200 feet. So when we got the boat, it came with the uh, 10 kilogram Bruce anchor. And so we did some research into all the different types of anchors and Chad came across the, the YouTube channel. Sailing Pan Ope. Yeah. It's a great channel. Uh, if anybody's interested in how anchors work or how they dig in and how they respond under pressure, go check out that channel. There's so many anchor reviews, it's crazy. We're not getting paid to say that. No, no. And after watching them all and watching his kind of fanatic review of like his top anchors, um, we decided that a Mantis anchor would be awesome because he never got one to fail. Um, they're the fastest resetting anchors according to him. Um, and yeah, he couldn't get one to foul. So after figuring out what kind of anchor we wanted, we decided, well, you know, if you don't ask, you'll never get. So why not send an email to Mantis and see if they might want to send us an anchor. So we told them a bit about our vlog and uh, and asked if uh, they like to give us a, an anchor, uh, that one specifically. And to our surprise, they said yes. So that was... Uh, Very exciting. Yeah, really exciting. Hooked it all up and ready to spend the nights on the anchor. Um, the Mantis 35. It needs to be bolted together. Is there glue in here? Lubricant. We gotta lube the anchor. Okay. Who knew? I didn't know. Who is it? Sailing Uma has a giant one of these for their storm anchor, and they used it to survive that hurricane. And it was a 104 pound version, but um, still, it didn't drag. <laughs> but their anchor didn't drag once in those crazy winds. So, I'm thinking they're pretty good anchors. <laughs> it's just like smeared on them. Here we go! <laughs> nice. Bit basier than our last one. So that's good. Well, we should be sleeping well with that anchor. And the rope. If we don't sleep well with this anchor and rope, then we're just not going to sleep well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, next level up is chain and a windlass, but uh, that's going to yeah. be a while from now. This is like a $2,000 uh, minimum upgrade, so. Next boat. Next boat. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to go for a sail. 
Are we sailing off the moor? I don't know. We're contemplating it. Got I'm going to try to go up that way toward that buoy, container, whatever that is, and then head down the arm. Sounds good to me. Yeah. As long as, yeah, we can get that way instead of this way. It's a gust. Gust of 24 knots. So we're out um, in the water and uh, we're about a quarter mile away from a, a cruise ship. Quarter mile. Does that look better? Yeah, he just, he just honked a bunch and uh, he's getting ready to come out. So uh, we'll stay out of his way. Here comes the wag. All right, we're trying it on the, uh, going a little bit more of an angle to it. Well, that was a little more gentle. Yeah. It's a different feeling, but it's not um, a clunk. Diagonal is better. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Well, it's a windy day and we're anchored off of McNabb's on another spot we haven't anchored before. Mm -hmm. A little bit windy. A little bit windy. It's got 20 knot winds. We got some beastly anchors gear here, so. That's some big stuff there. Hi, right, buddy. So, we're heading up to another section of McNabs, and uh. Oh, we've never. Sure. Yeah, but, uh, it's kind of interesting. It looks like someone's living here. There is someone who lives there. Yeah. All right. George. So this spot turned out to be a private beach. George was one of the original inhabitants of McNabb's Island. So we left him to his privacy and moved on. Um, not before him telling us about the coyote problem and the traps he set. So we're a little bit more careful when uh, taking Goose out for a walk. Nice little sail. Anchored. Life is good. He's hoping your hat would just float by randomly. Oh my god, it wouldn't have been amazing if it was on the shore. Yeah, it's kind of kind of... It's like, pro maybe if we were over there, because that's where it would have drifted off to, it right? It would wash up over there, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It was heading that direction. So. Somebody's going to find a super awesome hat somewhere. And they're going to love it. Wow. Yeah. Well, we've seen a lot of people lose hats on sailing vlogs. Yeah. Hats, sunglasses. It's kind of neat watching those container ships and the cruise ships cruise out. It's another one, I think, leaving. I guess we all have to row to shore and maybe go for a walk mm -hmm. up the path to get her to do her business. Because she does business, you know? Poopy wins. Yeah. We need one more camera, like a picture-taking sort of movie camera. Cause that's so close, and it looked so far. The dinghy again. Rowing back to see if we can get Lucy to poop and pee. So we're gonna uh, hang out here for the night, and then sail around a bit in the morning, and head back. Spooky island. <laughs> the dog's all wigged out. <laughs> the dog's all wigged out. And it's starting to wake me. <laughs> yeah. And it is a bit creepy here. It is a bit creepy, and she already barked uh, when we were the other side at something. And George over there mentioned that... Uh, the coyotes. There's tons of coyotes. <laughs> so we're hoping to make this a quick trip. Yeah. Hopefully I don't have to kick a coyote in the face. She brought the oars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah. Zoom in on that baby. That's right. So, yeah. And she keeps looking up into the creepy woods. Yeah, I'm waiting for a coyote to come over <laughs> at the edge of the coyote. Yeah, and my plan is to throw rocks at it. Yeah. And yell. Once we were in Kajimakujik, yes. and uh, there was, somebody let one in their car. Oh, yeah, they thought it was, it was a, a random dog. Yeah, I heard about that. Or, yeah, they thought it was like a lost dog. Yeah, so they coaxed it into the car with food. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. As always. always dog. Well, it's morning and calm. Everything is nice. Slept well with the anchor on. A little more confident this time. And we're gonna go to shore over there again. Don't eat the toes. I regret it. Yeah, my dog literally goes. <laughs> There we go, nice and set. I slept well. So, we have to thank Mantis uh, for sending us Anchor, but ultimately, we have to thank you guys for watching, um, because if you guys weren't watching as much as you are, then they wouldn't have seen value in our channel. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, thanks for all the lovely support, and uh, thank you Mantis for, yeah. for the Anchor. See how it goes. Don't disappoint us. The anchor or the people? <laughs> the people, the anchor. <laughs> they use, uh, hook up the, the anchor. But uh, if it does disappoint us, we'll be sure to let you know. Yeah. Just, uh, there's no uh, stipulations on anything like that. They just said, cool, we'll send you the anchor. So. Yeah. So as always, we'll give you the real. We'll give you the scoop. Real scoop. If it drags, we'll let you know. Ba 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 da da da